welcome back. So obviously dining in isn't an option for us and our kitchen essentials was taking forever to get to us because it was still getting shipped. So we are ordering food almost on a daily to eat. We order things on an app called Yu-Gi-Oh! They had a ton of selection and variety for food. I thoroughly enjoyed the food and the experience. And I can't wait to show you guys. So let's jump right into it. So one of the first things that I had to try was Korean barbecue. We got a large order of the meats, rice, veggies, soup, and all of that totaled to be about $37. Our order came with a lot of rice. Um, what I notice about the rice here is that they have rice and beans mixed together. We got the kimchi jjigae, which is a kimchi soup. We got a large order of marinated pork belly. These are already pre-cooked for us. They gave us a free soda, some lettuce, and then our sides. Overall, the marinade for the pork belly was super delicious. I love the fatty parts of the pork belly. I thought the rice paired super well with our food. The best part for me was the kimchi soup because it tasted like sour soup and I love that they have bits of pork inside of it. Korean fried chicken was one of the things that I was really excited about trying. We got some battered shrimp. In most meals in Korea, they give you cute radish to eat with your meal. We got kind of like a soy garlic chicken. And then your classic fried chicken. I forgot to keep the receipt for this one, but it was around $35 for everything. When I tell you that Korean fried chicken is on a whole new level, it really is on a whole nother level. The outside is so crispy, but the inside, the meat is so moist and it's not dry. It's so amazing and it's one of my favorite meals to have out here. A really popular delicacy in Korea is pig feet and pig shoulder. This is something you definitely have to try while you're out here in Korea. The place that we ordered had a lot of sides to eat with it. It came with sauces, it came with noodles, it came with lettuce, pickled radish, and kimchi. The pig feet and the pig shoulder itself is pretty expensive. It's about $25 USD. But we got a large order so that it would last us a few meals. The pig feet tasted like soft cartilage. The pig shoulder tasted exactly like pork belly, except it was a lot juicier and a lot fattier, and it paired super nicely with the pickled radish and the other veggies it came with. Altogether, this was about $33 USD. Traditionally, this isn't eaten with rice. Um, you normally just eat it with the sides that it comes with, but I personally would just wanted um, rice, so I just ordered that for us. I was craving fried chicken again, so I just had to go get it. We went to a different spot this time. This place was even better. It was crunchier. It was even juicier. I'm so obsessed with this place. And this place is pretty much my go-to for now. With all the chicken and fries, the total came out to be about $20 USD. We 
ordered a large pizza for ourselves, but to be honest, we didn't even know what was on the pizza. It just looked really good. What was pretty neat to me was that it was delivered in a heat insulated bag, so it kind of felt like I was unboxing my pizza. The pizza came with really interesting toppings. It came with shrimp, corn, bell peppers, pickles. To be honest, it wasn't the best thing that I've tried out here, but it was worth a try. We also got mini corn dogs, which were actually super delicious and really chewy. All of this all together was about $32 USD. A classic Korean dish is rice cake and a sort of spicy soup. This one came with rice cakes, fish cake, and some clear glass noodles. We also got this roll called kimbap. It essentially means seaweed and rice. Let me tell you, this dish is so warming to the soul. The rice and fish cake is so chewy. The soup is so warm with a hint of spice. It's just overall a great dish. This meal is relatively cheap to get. One bowl of it is usually about $4. We got two with the kimbap. I'm estimating it was around $12 USD. So that was it for this week. Korea has one of the best food I've had hands down and I'm excited to eat every day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.